I just have one more thing. I'm going to laugh at Ralph and Dick for a bit. I am not, um, to the disappointment of many people, I think, I'm not going to talk about Bella, and there's a reason for that. Um, her family are both former or current federal agents. Her father in particular is a Navy SEALs, like, retired um, officer, and he now runs a cybersecurity company. So they have tons of fucking money to tie me up in court. So I'm simply not going to say anything about her um, because I, I, I know I know it's coming. I, I, I smell it in the air. Uh, and I'm not going to make any original claims regarding the allegations that exist on the forum because I don't want to fucking deal with it. Feds, coward, they glow. Josh took the elegant. Yeah, like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to touch it. Um, I'll let people say whatever they want, um, and that will make it easier for me in the future because I, I just, it's not worth it. Yeah, you can spam and be a dickhead all you fucking want. I don't care. Uh, yeah, like, dude, I'm not going to, like, they have so much fucking money, and I don't have so much fucking money, and I'm trying to buy a fucking house. And if you have an issue with that, make your own fucking stream. There's a person called Kami Dick Girl who is out and about having a good old time talking about this. Go watch their streams. It's, there's an entire sub forum for it. Go watch their streams. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. Sorry, not sorry. Like the only person fucking around who is trying to ensure a more free internet. There's not what. Josh Moon, champion. Yes, this is the most detached from reality thing I think I've ever heard. This is I, this is putting a lot of stuff into focus, though. I have to say, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for this clip because I, I, I mean, what more can you say, really? After you hear this, I mean, I... many other people who are trying to do it. So fuck everybody else. I absolutely fucking support Josh Moon and Kiwi Farms. And I think it should be allowed to exist. I don't care that it's a, it's a, a fucking you know gossip site i don't, I don't care that they have your fucking i don't site. care that they enable christian to fuck his mom and now they're doing everything they can to cover it up doesn't matter to me that josh personally profited from this atrocity doesn't matter to me that he's still selling merchandise with christian's face on it proudly doesn't matter to me that he's doing everything he can to spread this bullshit about some college age student None of that matters to me. Josh Moon, champion of free speech. No, he's not taking advantage of a mentally retarded person while that mentally retarded person rapes their mother. That's not what happened. He had no inkling about it, even though he had every inkling about it. Oh, he had no clue. This guy's a champion for free speech. He's a champion of the Internet. What do you mean? Give me a fucking break. And also, I think... The I try not to, like, hail myself as, like, a, a warrior for free speech or whatever the fuck because that always sounds really cringe and like the people who are always like like bro I'm like totally like freedom of speech and shit are like the my pillow guy Andrew Torba from Gab like Ron Watkins they always turn out to be grifters so it's kind of weird to hear like Aiden Paladin like singing my praises and shit um but it has the side effect of making Ralph extremely fucking angry, which is very funny. So this is like the start of it. Aiden's having a conversation with Flamenco, who was a former um, uh, Killstream host. Aiden Paladin, if you don't know, is... Uh, God, how do I describe it? I think she was like in a doctorate program for sociology, and then she um, got kicked out because she said like Muslims are bad or some shit. So she just does like... Like, she talks about, like, research papers on YouTube, and that's, like, her job now. And occasionally she goes on to other podcasts to talk about something. Uh, I think that's a fair description of, like, Aiden Paladin. But she goes on uh, Flamenco's thing to talk about the forum after the uh, Christian stuff comes out. And people start talking about Isabel, um, who has a board on the forum. If you want to go look at what people are saying about her, it's pretty fucking vile. Um, and Ralph, for whatever reason, is listening to this. I think people sent him a clip of what Flamenco was saying about the forum, uh, while talking to Aiden Paladin. And this actually causes Ralph to like hard disavow Flamenco because he's saying anything nice about the forum, which becomes a, 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 a theme. And I'll talk about that more in a second. Of Kiwi Farms is a good purpose of trying to maximize free speech and anyone who disbelieves it 
sorry, uh, you're you're fighting against free speech. I you're a dumb bitch. That's what I really think. If you want to know the truth, <laughs> that's super spiteful. Um, Flamenco corrects me in chat. Apparently, this was before, uh, before the Christian stuff. I guess he brought this up after the Christian stuff to try and like say, oh look at how fucking dumb these people are. Now that I've totally proven them wrong, um, but. Yeah, I and for the people, I'm sorry, I can't maximize the video. If I try to do that, um, it shits itself because I'm on Linux. Oh my god, it works! When did it start working? When did this happen? <laughs> I'm it's a also like, my dude. <laughs> it's important for it. it's important for archive. Jesus Christ, I don't even, I can't even begin. Why would you? You know what? Fuck this. I'm tired of this talking point, and I'm not gonna let it slide anymore. Going in for Kiwi Farms doesn't make you some fucking free speech master defender fuck off fuck trying to pervert the mission pervert 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 fuck it up twist it twist the actual noble goal of protecting free speech online with the fucking cesspool piece of shit kiwi farms run by their fucking piece of shit owner pedophile josh moon fuck off and fuck you people trying to Throw in the fucking noble goal of free speech online with those faggots. No. Fuck no. I'm sick of this bullshit. Fuck off. Same. No, fuck that. I'm tired of it. No. No. Fuck that bullshit. I, I have no comment. That's just really funny. I'm yelling. There's one more. I think he gets super. I think this is like almost Xander tier, like screaming. And I don't know. He's been yelling more. And I can't tell if he's just like angrier and angrier or if he's trying to mimic Dick more, which is, which are, I mean, it could be both. He could be angrier and he's trying to be like louder is funnier type thing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how much I can restate this. No, you're fine. No, I completely understand. I, I completely. Kiwi I Farms a, I needs to exist. I have a fucking myself. I have a fucking I know, we all do. Kiwi I, Farms well, needs to exist. I, I, I also got it because I'm in the. No, gun. it doesn't. And the day it goes down, I'm going to piss on his fucking grave. I'm going to go live and I'm going to pull out my fucking dick and I'm going to piss on Kiwi Farms. Literally. The day that motherfucker's gone for good, I'm going to go live on air, and I'm going to pull out my fucking dick, and I'm going to piss all over the fucking place. Garen fucking teed. Watch me, motherfucker. Into sphere, so I'm never going to escape that. Punch. I know you do. <laughs> but I'm just saying that Ki Kiwi Farms is a site that, that not just should exist, but need exist. It is an important part of internet culture. The mm. end. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'd be a con controversial statement to say here, but that's how I feel. This oh, is it. it's su such a brave statement! Such a brave stance you took, Aiden! Oh, you're so fucking brave! Fuck you! What a brave stance you took! Give her a slap on the ass! Fuck off! Fucking shit! How brave you are! Oh my god! Your torch lights the way, Aiden! You're so fucking brave! He's, like, genuinely angry. Fuck that shit! <laughs> it's over! Fuck being nice! Fuck this shit! You were, I think the issue is with Ralph, like, I'll play the rest of this, um, but, like, you can see how super fucking, like, actually angry he is in this. And I think the... I think he's angry because he really thought with the Bew stuff and he thought with the Chris stuff, like, he had it. Like, that would be the nail. Like, between the DDoS attacks and whatever he thought was coming in terms of, like, litigation or, or criminal issues, it, um, I mean, knock on fucking wood, but it didn't happen. And now, uh, he's, he, what he thought would, like, a, it would be like a one-two punch. You have the Chris stuff and you have the BU stuff all at once, and he thought that people would solidify against the forum. But then after the Chris stuff, especially, like, the forum is busier than it's ever fucking been. We're at, like, 14,000 active users every day now. We're at, like, 10,000 posts per day now. The forum peaks at 6,000-plus 6, active users now. Um, and he, that's not what he expected. He expected the site that would go down. He expected certain service providers would pull out. And now he's sitting here thinking, like, well, if this didn't do it, if this didn't bring the forum down, like how much longer am I going to be waiting before that happens? And what what could I possibly do to make it any worse for them? And uh, as far as his capacity goes, not much. Except uh, a little bit of conspiracy, but I'll let this play first. Not a 
let's watch some more fucking trannies. Is that the end of the clip? I think it mostly is. Okay, so yeah. Oh, he's watching Kami Dick Girl here because Kami Dick Girl is like really into the, the Isabel stuff and is doing like a, a bunch of videos on it. And his, his gambit is that he's going to paint all the things that people are saying about uh, Isabel. Um, I'm going to paint that as like a, a far left conspiracy. So the fact that people across the political spectrum look at what the allegations are um, against her and condemn them as being extremely vile that to, he's cherry picking out the people who are like super super far left and saying that it's like a soy boy reddit conspiracy when it's really not um i think that the things people are accusing her of unifies across the political spectrum uh kids and animals are are the things that it's tend to tra tend to transcend all political spectrum except libertarianism i guess uh, which we'll get into in a second or right now actually cuz i think the Next clip is about that. He has Kami Dick Girl on, and he also has special guest Dick Masterson from the Killstream Hall of Fame, who also chimes in. So the bullying of marginalized groups at the school is more important than the hamster boiling? I just want to get this clear. What no, is your, but your a person who... Her seems to be the way that she treats trans people. Well, I can't do anything about the animals she's already killed. Of course, I would like her to not hurt any more animals. And she's well, talking about pedophilia, and I would like her not to hurt any children, and I don't think people should let their children around her. Why she's got those big old milkers? She could probably feed two or three kids at once. What? Like, both Ralph and Dick do this. Like, he's yelling at Aiden, and then he's just, like, slap her on the ass, and then he, Dick is completely uh mentally bent over by this fucking... By this. By Kami Dick Girl, who... <laughs> <laughs> whose com whose name is Kami Dick Girl and looks like a Kami Dick Girl and he has absolutely no retort against what uh, they just said and instead just goes for well she's got some tiggle bitties yeah and it's just like, like okay that's a complete logical non sequitur what if you Man, you got your mind in the toilet what would like, you say what are you even talking about it's like you're trying to say that this is like a serious thing and, and you want to look at this all like uh objectively and and here you are talking about like boobies and and sex and stuff what like, you like you wanna... I, no, look what would you say if i told you that a large majority of the people watching this show wouldn't want you around their children what would you say if i told you that i mean i i don't need to be around their children if that's how they feel that's fine well, i mean that's I the claim really you just care. made about bella so i mean let's just put it yeah, out well, there I'm that's true the claiming you know to boil I'm not the one boiling hamsters and talking about molesting children and talking about molesting Actually, dogs. Actually, you are talking form. about. You're talking about all those things. I, I didn't bring all that I'm stuff. I'm not up. saying that I'm doing. She's saying that she does those things. It's, you told me you, to you think about it. Read the you told me to put it in my mind. You want me to think no, about child molestation? On it. I think you're protecting. That's you what know you said. said I did catch. You said think about you, it. You were telling me that, like, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm. The reason I said that she's ignoring me is because I'm like jealous or something. I think you're protecting that that you're attracted to her disgusting ass who rolls around and shit all day. So, I wouldn't, get, dude. Your story just doesn't make sense. Like, it's just too fantastic. I think if you read it, maybe you should read the leaks instead of just like corn copying me on your show like a fool. Now who's obsessed with sex? By the way, if, do you want to take callers? If anybody wants to call in, I mean, I, you know, I'm giving you a fair hearing here. I just. Uh, let me know. I adjusted the volume, but let me know if it's too loud or too quiet now. So he says, Ralph upset by a caller. Oh, I'll just play it live. Listerine. Somebody please clip that. Go ahead. Listen. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. See, see, see it's looking oh. now. It's looking now. Go it's ahead. Find Shh, it. Shh. Calm down. Listerine, go ahead. No, no. I get where you're coming from We're in regards to Bella. Like, seriously, I don't know why he would dox her or, like, why Bella would get doxxed in the first place. It's kind of like... You guys uh, are weird, like, defending this, this, this fucking sick um, person. You know that, right? You know how you managed to get her doxxed before, Ralph, by any chance? And how your mother had died of shame? Say what? <laughs> My mom died of shame? Yeah. You remember that? I mean, that never happened, so no, I don't remember that. 
You show up as you never at, visited in a hospital, did you? Look at Comedy Dick Girl's, like, grin. I visited look at her mis days Mischievous her grin. Hospital. They're trying to hide it now. Oh, God. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was kind this of a low blow, man. This is the Kiwi Farms. They're not sending their voice. They're not sending their voice. I think they expected to get kicked, but you just sound like a dumb... You just sound like a dumb faggot. Because I was testing its durability, and then I threw it in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more slander. Hey, why don't you... Why don't you join? This person here in the uh, forty-one hey, percent. Hey, well, I, won't, I won't talk shit on 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 your on your mother like that. I think that was too far. Oh, my mother was awesome. Me. I I mean, it's not based in reality. It doesn't even bother me at all. Like that's just another one of the laws that they push from Kiwi Farms. That's what I've been talking about this whole show. That uh, you know. I didn't visit my mom. But they, the they do actually get they a lot of things that are true. No, what about that though? What about that? They they lie about my mother's death. You have one of the callers here that just called in and lied about my mother's death live here on this program. That's a Kiwi Farms. Ralph, I don't think anyone would seriously believe that your mother physically fucking collapsed out of shame. That she saw the gun tape and then her heart just gave out because of some shame complex. I don't think anyone actually literally expected someone to believe that. I think that's what's called a fucking joke at your expense, bro. How, like, how, how, how do you even... Oh, it's, it's very, I have to like intentionally try... And keep myself from like pointing out hypocrisy, especially with Ralph. Like, if I were to sit here and try to point out every instance where Ralph has been a hypocrite, it would take hours. It, I would never stop. Like him saying, like him bitching after after the whole fucking uh, Gunsville road trip, where he went up to the hotel and was screaming uh, "kill stream" at Chris as he's being arrested and trying to DMCA everyone so they have to like pay him royalties for that footage of that news event like him doing that after saying that I was profiting off of Chris when I've never made a fucking dollar off of Chris except for the coin sale where I paid Chris for his fucking image um like it, like it's just insurmountable hypocrisy and I can't tell if he actually literally believes that we think or are trying to conspire to convince the general public and his audience that his mother physically died of shame or if he just takes whatever he can and tries to spin it as a win against the form. I, I, I legit can't fucking tell what's wrong, what, what his damage is. I mean, it's kind of like a pod shot, really. Well, it's a lie that they promote on their site, much like the stuff with his ability. Like, so saying that saying about your mother, like, that's just kind of like they're, they're just taking, like, a cheap shot at you. I, I don't think I was like I'm trying yeah, to say you don't anything say it. like well, that. Well, guess what? Evidence. Saying somebody's fucking mother died in a way they didn't in order to fucking smear that person is not above board. Yeah, it is a pot shot. You're I, I right. Think you were you're right. About, they like, are doing it. Here. No, you're right. They are doing it just to take a pot shot. But guess what? That's more than just taking a pot shot. That's fucking goddamn libel and slander here when he called in. Uh, I wouldn't say it's libel and slander. It's well, just it somebody is. talking shit. I don't give a fuck like a what you would call. say. I don't give a fuck what you would say. That's what it is. I mean, you're gonna like. Are you, wait, if somebody like prank calls you, are you gonna like take them to court you and have like an call the police? You're for everything while you throw around fucking slander and libel yourself. Quite frankly, no, I don't, I don't, and I don't I hope do the Jackie family I, sues you into the grave. Do you not think that every? Do you not think that anything you said has been libelous or slanderous, Tommy Dick Girl? I make it. I make it very clear, and I'm gonna continue to make it clear that these are allegations, and they have not been proven in a court of law. So well, it's no, not proven in a court of law. Do you, you are saying that Bella boils hamsters? And that's what I believe. Conviction. That's what I believe, and yeah, I, 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 I say what I believe you, with conviction, but I also doing. make it very clear. <laughs> these. Go ahead. Oh no, you. I'm a woman. Like I don't. If people can tell me so, I'm not, uh, that's fine. You're entitled to your own opinion. It's, they're just. It's like three people, four people. It's Dick Ralph. Gator, for whatever he's worth, and Rand, trying to argue with Kami Dick Girl, who appears to be in, like, some sort of cyberpunk theme, like, like one-bedroom apartment with anime shit on the wall, and he, he, he doesn't even know how to do, like, a Discord call-in, so he's literally on his fucking, like, handy trying to talk to these people, and uh, they can't keep up. They can't keep up with Kami Dick Girl. It's fucking baffling. Um, God, and Ralph, there's something he said. It's not above board. Oh, how about this for above board, Ralph? How about making fun of people for having a miscarriage? Uh, like, 
I I don't know. I'm I don't think I've ever complained about someone going after me above board. Um, I was there in that stream where I made a joke about stomping on Sargon's fetus. So I guess if so, if something happens and someone makes fun of me in a similar way, it's just fair fair game at that point, which it is. But Ralph Ralph has continually made fun of people for relationship problems and their parents being dead and miscarriages and all sorts of awful shit that you would consider above the board. And he just... He, I don't know. I just find it embarrassing even. It's not even like, oh, I have to point out the hypocrisy of this person. It's like it, it gives me secondhand embarrassment to see someone who is so shameless in what they're willing to, to complain about versus uh, how they actually behave themselves. So let's keep going. Ada Wolf, go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? I'm doing great, man. What's up? Uh, I just wanted to say real quick, any dumb motherfucker that thinks you can just walk into a hospital after somebody's been moved to a rehab facility without the quarantine period at this time is a fucking idiot. So I just wanted to shout out all the dumbasses that think that you didn't want to go see your mom in the hospital. They're fucking retarded. This shit's so crazy. I talked about it on the show. It was regular hospital where the accident happened and when she got hurt, where she got hurt at the hospital, uh, got a traumatic brain injury. Uh, and then she went to the rehab hospital and then she went from there to the nursing home and actually it was the nursing home where they still had right. the 10 day waiting period to see people because of COVID and oh, she care. died on the 10th day. I don't care about Sandra. I, I, I could not care about Sandra less. Let's see, how long are these? Two minutes each? Okay, perfect. Well, if so-and-so posted on their here. actual account, I don't know, and you have that, then I'll, I'll say, okay, but I'm talking about this sock puppet stuff. You don't have any evidence of any of that. You're just saying that. Like, I don't know. If somebody posted on their own well, account, somebody, I'll take your word for it. And being all defensive and trying to be Kiwi Farm, somebody says because they don't agree. Every time on Kiwi Farm, somebody comes on there and disagrees. They're like, "Oh, you must be a sock puppet. Oh, this person must be Ralph. Oh, da, 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 this must be so so." No, maybe they yeah, just don't agree. Like it's a nonsense. Cult. No, because it's a cult mindset. Like any type of fucking. That's fair. Dick. People, people need to stop accusing random people of being Ralph and Gator. And like, I'll look at their IPs and say, like, this person is posting from like Maine. That's not Ralph. That's not Gator. But people ignore me when I say that, and they keep calling them Ralph and Gator. And I say, that makes you look like a fucking idiot when you say this. Like, there are people who are desperate Ralph cocksuckers, and you just need to accept the fact that they might like, they might not even like Ralph. They might just come on to troll, because it's so easy. You go into a thread, and then you say, like, I disagree, and then you have, like, 8 million fucking replies. Disagreement on there. Me, literally. Oh, that's are, you just like, are you just, like, like offended about what they said? Thread. They'll be like, you must be Gator. Oh, my God. Ralph, is, are you just trying to discredit them because you don't like some of the things that they might have said about you that you're like sensitive uh, to know. that maybe hurt your feelings? I don't, I, don't maybe like, that are true? I don't like the lies they've told about me. Yeah, that's true. But what about what about the stuff they got right? Because I know that they got stuff right. Yeah, like I, I know how this works. Like they got shit that's right. So so are you just insecure about the stuff they got right about you or something? No, that's I'm not. I'm not ashamed of myself like you. I mean, look at yourself. And I don't make videos crying about bathrooms and pawpaws and all that I, shit. Have I cried? Wait, when did I cry you in a video? Just look at yourself. When I'm not cry? ashamed of anything. I walk around really this like a cares. fucking man. I don't put on a yeah, dress again, and a again, fucking yeah, wig. Yeah, He's fucking look at that. Don't ever fucking talk to me. He get, he, Comedy Dick Girl calls him out for being sensitive about his fucking thread, and he does like the he's like squinting. He's got his fucking pig eyes on full display. He's like, "Don't you ever fucking talk shit about me, you cocksucking motherfucking pedophile piece of shit, bitch!" Crying. Like you're something well, badass. You're nothing. Dicko. You're a fucking well, freak show. Shut the fuck up. You're something crazy. How come fuck the Popeyes up? video ended after one of the black people had finally had enough of your shit? And like started walking towards you, saying, he, Fuck he this. was about to get and his ass then, whooped. That's, that's not true. With, anyway, he went, he he went in the back. He put his game signs at me and went hide in the back. You were your ass kicked, weren't you? You were about to get no, your ass kicked. No, I wasn't. Anyway, whatever. He went in the back. I said my piece. I okay, made my own. Right, you said your piece. I, I said to make my and piece. I'm going to keep it professional. Let's just finish the callers. All right. Oliver, not. Okay, and this one's 48 seconds. I think this is the last one. Now go ahead, Dingo. Okay, uh, I had a question for you. Oh, you guys run a show. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, is this in the green room? Tommy D girl, is that the person that's on the phone right now? Yeah. Me. Why the fuck do they have a role and I don't have a role? What the fuck kind of clown world shit is this? Jesus wow. Christ. Uh, Dingo, are you serious? <laughs> just get your get your call in. I'll yeah, give no, you I'm dead serious, Ralph. I'll give you, I just not gave him a role so it would work. 
Yeah. You got kicked out of okay, the Discord because so. me and you got in a fight. That's why your role is gone. All right, I'll give it, it, man. <laughs> do it. Go, go, go. If you really okay, remember, but he's complaining about his Discord you. You're right. I forgot. Now you have it back. No, I, I forgot that we got the video. <laughs> <You're right. Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't watch the full thing because I could care less, or I could not care less technically. Um, so I don't know if Dick and the others had more presence in the full thing or if this, like the people only clipped out Ralph being like a retard. Um, I'm going to try and play as much as this as I can. It's eight minutes long. And the, I mentioned, I hinted at this earlier and I really don't know what to think. Uh, it, it, it gives me, I, I don't know. It makes me very uncomfortable and it makes me, uh, feel bad. <laughs> about having ever talked to Dick cuz this is either like top tier like contrarianism to a point of disbelief or it's like desperation to find anything that will stick to the forum. I I really don't know. So I'll play I'll try to play it um without without like framing it in such a way that people feel biased for it. Cuz I I don't know, maybe he makes a very compelling point. I I I don't know. Um it it very it surprises me a lot to hear him say this shit to the point where he's so proud of it by the way that he clipped it out and put it on his fucking channel so i don't know if it is an attention thing or what the chris chan saga continues mm -hmm. really um so the, the I, I told you a little bit about it last week a girl called him uh, a girl called him and got him to confess mm -hmm. the, to the rape of his the repeated rape of his mother allegedly right oh, god um now uh as i said last week People, people loved having their adorable retard to abuse mm -hmm. for decades. Mm -hmm. Like every anyone who fo anyone who followed him is partially responsible for what happened to him. Uh, and if you know you're dealing with somebody, he's not he's not a normal person. Yeah, and I don't I I don't know what he's capable of consenting to. Like he's getting pushed mm -hmm. he's getting pushed into doing gross things, taking pictures of it and shit, and it gets all over the internet. I'm like I don't know that kind of it kind of seems like you're. Uh, just taking advantage of someone who's retarded. Like, we're, I get, I, you know, mm -hmm. I don't care what you're doing, but that's what you're doing. Just so you know. Just so you know. Because I don't have any kind of feelings one way or the other, so I don't have to justify it to myself like a lot of people. But now, uh, because this woman... And he's saying that because the immediate response would be, like, him and his, his adventures with, like, uh, Chris the Kiwi, who who is... I think like a sex offender. He's a um a New Zealander who had issues with women. I think he he did go to like jail for for sexual related offenses. I don't know particular. So he has to clarify when talking about this and trying to to shame people for it that his associations don't count because he doesn't care. So he's saying that basically morality is a spook. And uh, he he is Max Sterner. He is the ego in its own. And uh, you can go fuck yourself, but he's still going to, like, use it as a weapon anyways, in case people listening do care. Bella, I tried to get her to call on his show, but I, but she had to delete everything. Because mm -hmm. she took away these people's adorable uh, retard that they enjoyed making fun of and, and abusing uh, by proxy. Uh, they Guilt-free. Guilt-free. Now they feel guilty about it. Right. So they have turned... They are trying to make her... Let me read you this list of things that she has now done. Uh, Just before he gets into that, I don't know what he's talking about. Um, I, I'm happy that there is a chance Chris might get help. He might go to a care facility at this time. I have not seen any posts at all that are angry at Bella for exposing Chris. And if you can't see the title of this is Bella, the hero exposed Christian. So he's very openly saying that Bella is a hero and framing it that people who are trying to, who are looking into Bella and what she's done are only doing so because she exposed Chris and took Chris away from the public. And now they're upset when that's not the case. Uh, Bella sat on, from what I understand, Bella sat, well, I know for sure that Bella sat on that call for over a month. And what I've been told is that she did that because she wanted to blackmail Chris into committing suicide eventually to become the ultimate and final troll of the Chris Chan saga. 
and has since had a uh, falling out with Fiona, someone else, who leaked the call to 4chan or Reddit or whatever the fuck and uh, took took Chris away from her before she was done with Chris. And she um, allegedly doxed this, this girl named Fiona who uh, actually exposed what was happening with Chris and his mother. And Dick is taking the side of Bella saying that she is literally saying that she's a hero for what she's done. Um, it's, it's, it's insane. Uh, she says, this is her. Yeah, this is, she has amazing tits. Uh, cute girl. Know. Yeah. She never intended. Yeah, me, so this, oh my God, let me get this out of the way. Um, there is a serious fucking problem in the Bella board where people are like legit thirsting over her and talking about how much they want to fuck her to the point where if you are someone who joined recently and you're talking about how you want to fuck, uh, her, I will just ban you. Um, I don't know if I have a picture of her offhand. I might have it because I really didn't intend to talk about her at all. But I, I just want to show what she looks like. Here, I guess this will suffice. Oh, it's on, of course, it's on Dick's fucking Twitter. So if I go to Dick's fucking Twitter and I scroll down a bit. Um, God, he tweets a lot. I told him he needs to get the fuck off Twitter because he is like this. So he desperately wants to fuck this chick, and he says that she's super hot and, and like whatever the fuck. He's it. It legit makes me wonder if he's an actual simp. Like people have been saying simp master cuck for like a while now, but now looking at this and him defending her, it makes me wonder if like is he actually like unable to see past the fact that she's like a female with a vagina and, and boobs and that's it? Is that all, is that the only thing that he cares about and everything else is a secondary concern? Cause if so, that's really quite fucking pathetic, especially for someone in a long-term relationship like him. Um, but anyways, so it's, it's a thing where like a lot of people, a lot of like, um, socially net people are, are like actively like she has, she has like, uh, she has posted pictures of her foot covered in like a toe fungus. Somehow this woman is acquired, like, and I think she's had multiple, like she's said on discord and stuff that she's had multiple fungal infections. So I don't know how the fuck this woman is sprout is like cultivating, uh, mushrooms. And there's a specific word for that. Mushroom cultivation. There's a, there's a word for it. When you specifically funga culture, I don't know how this woman is such an expert, Funga culturalist, but she is, and nobody seems to think about that when they say shit like this. This is the story on it's her now crazy. because she had the audacity to record a motherfucker uh, and leak the audio. A motherfucker, yeah. Like she did what Chris Hansen does. Yeah, catches predators. And, I guess so. Yeah. yeah, she deserves an Emmy for this. Uh, I mean, Chris Hansen did drive someone to suicide, but I don't think he did that intentionally. So, Chris Hansen does it on TV, though. Oh, yeah. It's probably laws, right? Uh, what what bothers me about I mean, this more than like... anything is how Sean just like, goes along with it. Like, there's no, like, he, he's tapped out. He just says whatever to keep the show going. And then he goes and does, like, his actual life, and he just does this shit for money. Video versus audio only in some states. Well, like, he oh, didn't yeah, know yeah, he was, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't, know where, she, I don't know where she's yeah. located. Because some parties, some states, you don't have to tell the other yeah. person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, she intended to, but you don't have to, in no state, do you have to tell them you're videoing, right? If it's your property, I know in no. yeah. but if it's your property, you don't have to tell them anything. Yeah. It's only on the phone. Yeah. You have to tell them. So this is what they're claiming. This girl did. She's ab adopted multiple animals and killed them. Uh, she's boiled, boiled a hamster or boiled hamster, multiple hamsters alive. Uh, she overfed her cat, uh, because the smell of his shit turned her on. She has convinced one guy to kill himself. Uh, she blended a chinchilla. I wrote this all down. Uh, yeah, she blended what? a she Wait. blended a chinchilla. Who? Wait, she who's, saying, who's saying she did this? She's saying she the, did this. The internet, like it... many people who other, like East to clarify, I believe that um, everything that people are saying about her comes from Discord logs where she is openly bragging about stuff. Um, there is some reason to believe that she is a pathological liar. And she says things which are untrue to get credit. Like she says edgy boy stuff all the time because she's a cool girl and she does cool girl stuff like kill small animals. And you should be, you know, you should respect and fear her because she's such a cool girl. Um, but 
Sean is right that a lot of it is like primary source. She makes these claims herself, and there's a bit of a challenge to decide what's actually bullshit and what's what's true. Celebrities who get shit made up about them all the time. Oh, this is what the just the internet is saying about yeah, her. Yeah, people who get called yeah. a racist or a Nazi mm -hmm. all the time are just running with this mm -hmm. because they're so racked with guilt mm -hmm. that their little that their dancing yeah, retard sure. is not as charm that he wasn't that Chris right. Chan wasn't Forrest Gump right. and was more uh, 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 Ted Bundy. Yeah. Like, oh, we thought it was. We thought we were just. Ruining the life of like a, of a of a friendly retard like Forrest Gump. Yeah. How dare well, Ted you? Ted Bundy wasn't a retard. <sighs> which one of the serial yeah. one? Which Ted one Bundy was, the was clown? super smart? John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, he was a contractor. Um, there are some definitely. He's, some he's thinking of Ed Gein, by the way. But uh, no, like I'm. I think he's specifically talking about me. I'm. I'm not active in that board at all. I'm not originating any claim. Um, I've been completely burned out this month. I've not been participating in the farm as much as I usually do because I've been doing video game shit and fixing DDoS attacks ever since this started, by the way. So, um, no, I, I have no guilt at all. I did my best to help Chris, and it sucks that it ends this way. I wish, I really wish that it would have ended where he was responsibly doing his fucking comics and not fucking his mother. Uh, I wish that was the ending. Um, but this is the nightmare world that we live in, and nothing is actually good. So, which Mentally, one is a good reference? Um, Albert Fish? No, I don't think he won. What's no. subpoena? I haven't received a subpoena. No. I don't know. Oh, anyway. The, come up with one. The way that they're trying to build, and you can watch them think it out. Like, people's, people's rationalization mm -hmm. when it comes to their, their partition... Uh, their part, their p participation in abuse mm -hmm. is fucking infinite. The yeah. lengths they'll go to, sure. It's like we got to destroy this girl. Oh, fuck this girl. We got to, we got to ruin her life. This is what she's done. This is, um, it's wonderful. It gets funnier and funnier every week. I guess. I don't know. But he literally, uh, okay. Let's he literally just assumes that it's fake because it's on the forum. And I don't, I don't even know. Like he might, he might like in his head. This is a distinct possibility. Dick could be white knighting this bitch. Because he's the only person in the entire world that is. And I think she's like in California. He might just be trying to fuck her. He's trying to get her on the studio. You know what? I bet you that's it. I bet you that's it exactly. He's white knighting her because he wants to fuck her. He'll get her in studio and he'll be like, oh, those fucking Kiwi Farms people are such assholes. I, I understand you. I, un I have a thread too. I understand the lies they tell. And then he's trying to fuck her. Um, I have a spoil. I have a... Um, I have a... Uh, Unfortunate statement in case Dick actually hears this. She's a lesbian. That's that we do know. She is only attracted to women. Um, I believe there are conversations where she talks about her sexually assaulting um, smaller girls and physically imposing herself on them. Um, so I, I know that she is sexually attracted to women and not men. So if he's hoping to get it in with her, uh, he's probably barking up the wrong tree. Damn. Too cruel. Yeah. No shit. Hero. I need a Coke. You want a Coke? Yes, please. Grab please, please. Thank you. Let me see if anybody's in the chat. Dude, you have got to have an incredible back to have a sex doll. Just moving that thing from one bed to a chair. Holy fuck. Excuse me. Let me make sure I get that right. They're accusing the girl of convincing him to do it. That he was, this is a 40-year-old man we're talking about. That he was groomed into raping his mom. Who's look saying this? Face. What, look at his face. What kind of face is that? I've seen, I've watched a lot of Dick Show. Um, I think I've watched the, because the, that was like a $20 Patreon. So I saw the live stream recordings from like episode one to like episode 160 or something. I don't think I've ever seen Dick make that face. I don't even know what to describe that face. That's a fucking weird face. Um, nobody's accusing her. I assume some people are speculating that she might have talked him into it. But I think I actually saw conversation logs where she was trying to convince him. She was hoping that if they met up at the BronyCon in Seattle, she would be able to convince him to have sex with her so he would stop having sex with his mother or something like that. I, I'm saying that from memory, so don't quote me. Uh, but it was some weird shit like that. So I don't know. Maybe he does have a chance with her. I mean, if, uh, if she'll have sex with Chris, she would have sex with Dick. He might have to act more or less retarded, though. Probably more. He just has to act. Maybe that's his plan. I'm going to act like a full-blown fucking retard, and she'll think I'm a, you know, a, a sexy retarded man, and she'll fuck me. 
morons who feel guilty. Yeah. A, a, a ton of people. Right. A right. ton of people. Like, oh, well, this kind of changes things. Like, are you guys, yeah. are you fucking kidding me? Anyway, here's some comments. Um, sorry. Sorry, I've been corrected. Damn. Correct the record. It was Fiona who was the one who wanted to fuck Chris. Which is why I assume that she leaked the, the call after it became clear Bella had other things in mind besides helping Chris. Because she, she wanted to be the Chris Chan fucker. Invite Fiona on your podcast, Dick. She'll fuck you. And uh, Damien. Uh, Clyde Frog. Listen, Dick, there's no way Chris Chan walks. All the cops will have to do is send in a female cop, and Chris will convince uh, confess everything. He trusts women implicitly, which is clearly his greatest weakness. For fuck's sake... He's still talking to the girls who leaked the audio and text about mm. this incest shit. He'll be put in a female prison. No, he won't. I don't think he was put in female prison. He, he's, he's put in male prison. In Virginia, you don't go to a female prison as a transsexual unless you've been, uh, you've been castrated. You've had the, the sex change operation. They were talking about it for a while. Oh, because he's trans. Yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah. I guess to the... It's another wrinkle to the... Do the trans people... I, is there a policy that at absolutely least, no one can at, fake it? At least, at least call him the proper pronoun, her the proper pronoun, right? Yes. Christine, uh, dead name, using mask, blah, blah, blah. Christine's a trans woman. She may have raped her mother with dementia. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, she may have raped her mother with dementia, and she deserves to be punished for that. Well, it, but, but, it's another but, but. That's still there's two butts in this one. There's a uh, butt, and then there is a there's a fucking Uno level reverse. Uh, but mm. there's still no reason to misgender her. Misgendering a trans person should never be used as a form of punishment. No, yes, here comes that. the also like this the butt. The, none of this would have happened. Put it laying <laughs> total blame on one thing. Yeah, love it. I mean, that's probably not fair. Like I'm sure there's a like people don't have sex with their mothers. Because someone suggested it. It's it's a multifaceted thing. Chris is fucked up. I think Barb and, uh, cultivated a inappropriate relationship with Chris over years because uh, she was known to demand that Chris cuddle her in bed. As soon as Bob died, she would come up to his room and they would sleep together um, for comfort purposes. So she also cultivated a weird fucking relationship with him. But then you also have people like idea guy and Bella who are having this weird manipulative relationship with Chris. So it's not just one party. Uh, it's wrong to try and place blame on any specific person. Also love it. Also, none of this would have happened if the lesbian community validated Christine's gender identity. Shots fired. Well, that's a, so the reason he's why... He's just bitching about people on Twitter again. He needs to get the fuck off Twitter. I think that's it. I think that's the reason why Dick has gone downhill so much in the last year is that he's... He, like, he's old. Like, he's a, like a full 12, 12 years older than I am. He's in his 40s now. And I don't think that people that age were ready for social media. Like, people my age, maybe when we get up to 40, will have an idea of what social media is like and that it's absolute fucking cancer. But to, like, L.A. hotshots and stuff in their 40s, it's it's something, like, they think that they can con control it by and, and still inflict, like, a personal relationship into it. Um, which is not true. You can't, you can't interface with Twitter and save your soul. I, like, even I... And no, even I can't even make excuses for myself because when I had my Twitter account and I was arguing with people a lot, I think it, it affected me negatively too. Me not using Twitter only to make announcements about the site and stuff has definitely – and Discord. I got rid of Discord too, and I think that's improved my life. <laughs> um, I, I have a lot more time for, for doing shit I actually care about um, and work and stuff now that I've gotten rid of Discord and Twitter. It, it really is just a fucking blight on humanity is because lesbians won't fuck trans women. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. Um, we've mentioned this before. Who is the trans history? Like, is, is this anybody who, like, no, leads a group? Some or fucking what? lunatic. I mean, yeah. Uh, we've I'm mentioned this where someone, it comes from. Someone asked me, aren't I plugging, like, a federated Twitter? And, yeah, Kiwi Farms at CC is, like, a federated Twitter, but I only use it to say the N-word every, every 24 hours or so so I can get it out of my system. It's a, it's a therapeutic thing. It's much healthier. Like in, you know, I don't is this know. like a I don't know what this about. Uh, this um, I idea? Know. I've seen this idea come up a lot. Uh, you may 
But somehow, is mm-hmm. that women, that two people with with noth, almost nothing in common, have found the same problems mm-hmm. with women. Mm-hmm. Isn't that remarkable? Uh, but okay. it's almost impossible for a trans lesbian. He's just bitching about SJWs. I don't know why this is in the fucking the clip. Uh, but I wanted to play that, and I um I found it interesting that he wasn't getting a good reaction in the in the whatever it is the um replies. Uh, so I'll, I'll take a look at that. Give me a second. So he pinned this comment recently, saying from Mexi Taco MC, so many Christian white knights in the comments. This is his loved comment that he's also pinned. So his his belief is that everyone, I guess that is his belief, is that everyone who has anything against Isabel and condemns what she's done and what she has said that she's done um, are just white knights for Chris. And it's, it's, it's just not true. And I don't even know how you reach that conclusion unless you're just trying, to, unless it's something like a, a logical thing where it's like you're in your head, you're mapping out. Um, how you're going to address this topic and you hold one thing to be absolutely certain that the Kiwi farms is bad and whatever they're up to is bad. And you have to nest your ideas and your thoughts and your, um, and whatever on this predicated presupposition that the Kiwi farms is bad and what they believe is inherently wrong. And from there you can kind of build out, I guess, um, illogically towards, People who don't like Isabella are just Christian White Knights. That's the only thing I can think of. So I don't know. Very frustrating week, very frustrating month. And I really thought I really thought that when August I, I was waiting for July to end, July was a long month. I even remember celebrating August. And someone said, Don't celebrate that August has come. What if August is even worse? And then July thirty first, Christian Fox's mother. And it's like <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's what I get for counting my pigeons before they're hatched. <laughs> get a whole lot of shit in my face. <laughs> uh, oh, and one other thing from Dick, which I just found confusing. Um, uh, this, he made a poll saying, would you boil a hamster to stop a rape? And I'm guessing that's like a joke. I really don't even know what to make of that. But it really does sum up like just what his behavior is. Like... It, it, and it's it's not even like it doesn't make sense and it's not funny and I'm not like a, a humor arbiter but I, I just I don't get it it's like well, it's like trying to look at a banana duct taped to a wall in a modern art museum and you're just like I don't fucking get this this is not this is like too highbrow for me this is some weird shit oh and this is a picture of the hamster He's very cute. I think that's a dwarf hamster. They're very tiny. Oh, well. Poor thing. Just don't. No. F. And yeah, press F. There's pictures of the dog, too. And what's shocking, um, the dog was what got her docs to begin with. And the dog is also a black lab. The same as Karma, the one that got Snake Thing doxed. And it's like, or not Snake Thing, um, Wolf. Wolf got doxxed because he had a picture of him with a black lab that matched uh, torture pictures of a black lab. And Bella also got in trouble um, f- with pictures of a black lab. I, I don't know what it is. Don't fuck with the black lab if you're a zoo sadist. Those fuckers will get you. They got some sort of um, of tie to the, the fabric of space and time. They'll come back. They'll fuck you up. <laughs> 